Hello, and welcome to Haverford Systems' presentation of cloud-based video conferencing services review. With so many different uh, cloud-based video conferencing systems, we wanted to briefly look at eight of the most popular cloud-based video conferencing services and just talk a little bit about the unique features and the differentiators that could allow you to make a good educated decision on which video conferencing service will work best for your organization. First we'll start with Skype which is in my opinion the most popular and wide used video conferencing system. Its unique features are as it's super easy to use, it's very powerful, and it's free. Um, it has widespread use, easy integration, it works on almost every device, and everyone seems to be able to just pick it up intuitively and start doing video conference calls. So, uh, let's look at GoToMeeting. GoToMeeting is one of my fa personal favorites. You can host an unlimited amount of webinars and conferences for a fair price of around $50 a month per user, and you're limited to about 25 users per um, session, which is more than enough for most um, regular webinars and web conferences. And they have very nice features. One of them is called HD Faces, which allows um, you to populate your screen with high definition resolutions of your far side viewers. You can share your screen and you can annotate on shared documents, even giving control of your mouse and keyboard to the far side so that they can control what's going on on your computer. Um, I'm going to move over here to Cisco WebEx another wonderful webinar and event style video conferencing system. Um, if anyone is familiar with it, it's, it is very similar to GoToMeeting. Um, it has more capabilities, it costs a little bit more, and it's more of, a, I, would, I would say, a um, kind of enterprise level video conferencing system that has the professional Cisco foundation. So if, if, if having a professional Cisco foundation for your IT department, having all those endpoints uh, very secure, um, and if you're already using Cisco products, it might be a very good uh, solution for web-based video conferencing for your organization. Well, let's jump over here to Adobe Connect, which is a complete mobile-to-mobile e-learning -mobile e platform. Um, it has services that no other web-based video conferencings have, such as on-demand available conferences. And you can save uh, what you're doing on a uh, video conference call and have it available for review. Uh, this has been very popular in the education market, and it works on virtually any device. It's very powerful, and it's very much tailored toward large organizations in the higher education market. A lot of the of the unique features you're going to find in Adobe Connect you won't find anywhere else. So it is a very nice piece of software that I highly suggest looking into if you're looking at doing distance learning, e-learning, and you want to have that available on demand for students and employees uh, after the fact. Cisco Jabber is a very interesting new software which is absolutely free and I would describe it as kind of an instant message style collaboration system that does have video conference capabilities and they they promote the fact that they can collaborate from anywhere with any device so it's uh, kind of almost brings back the memories of the old AOL instant messenger just with the 21st century in mind uh, again uh, supported by Cisco very solid foundation and a great product Scopia Desktop is uh, another enterprise level control system uh, supported by Avaya, another industry leader in the market. Um, they have One of their unique features is they have a constant uh, contact center for centralized video recording and on-demand access. So it's another um, it's similar to Adobe Connect but more based for the business world. Um, Let's jump over here to Microsoft Link, um, and also Microsoft has another product called Live Meeting, um, and, and both of those systems are very nice because they have complete Microsoft platform integration. So if your company is using SharePoint, OneNote, Outlook, 
any of the very powerful uh, Microsoft products and it's really leveraging that software, you might want to look at just integrating a Microsoft video based uh, web conferencing service with what you're already using. Vidtel is an, uh, it's not exactly your traditional web conferencing system. It's very unique. Well, Vidtel is one of the uh, one of two companies in the entire industry that eliminates the barriers to codec video conferencing systems such as Polycom and Cisco. So if your organization has already invested um, multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars in Polycom and Cisco hard codec video conferencing systems and you'd like to expand your uh, horizon to be able to call Skype, Google Talk, and other web-based video conferencing systems, Vidtel makes a bridge that allows you to bridge Skype, Google Talk, and their WebRTC based Google Chrome um, web-based video conferencing system so that you can call your boardroom Polycom or Cisco um, endpoints and also Tamberg which is an older one so we're gonna make another uh, presentation exactly on what Vidtel can do so for now I'm gonna keep moving on here another popular system is called video and video is a hardware based solution for hosting your own video conferencing so if, if you if you don't want to have a monthly fee um, of fifty dollars to a hundred dollars per user to be able to do uh, high-tech video conferencing capabilities you may want to look into using a video situation where you're buying the own hardware so that you can host your own video conferences it brings in a whole nother level of security for IT departments and it has a whole nother level of um, features and uh, we'll, we'll have to do another actual presentation on that individually so look out for that as well just to get into the nitty-gritty of what you can offer here um, Skype has a new system and uh, it's a business level system that allows you to call up to 10 people at once um, and it does have screen sharing uh, but it does not have application sharing so if that's an issue for you you can write Skype right off most business level um, executives don't uh, feel comfortable using Skype they'd feel more comfortable using a more professional level system but keep in mind Skype can be absolutely free um, you, it's super easy to use and it works on pretty much any system whether it's your iPhone your Android your iPad or your Mac or PC so it's a great serv service to use uh, everyone uses it everyone's recommended it to um, you know it's just a great service. Scopia by Radvision again is more of a universal um, enterprise level um, video conferencing and it is also really ties together a lot of collaboration pieces that your organization might benefit from. Um, it does have screen sharing and application sharing meaning uh, the far side can take control of your screen. Um, it does not have uh, video Oh, it does it actually does have video recording so I'm going to have to uh, switch that I know for a fact it does have video recording and it also has Microsoft Outlook integration if that's important for you go to meeting again another one of my favorites so easy to use um, it does have screen sharing it does have uh, mobile apps it does have um, application sharing it, it works on almost any PC uh, whether it's Mac whether it's Linux it's just browser based so no matter where you are you can get on someone else's PC type in to go to meeting log in and you're ready to go so the pricing is right here um, depending on uh, it's, you know the introductory prices they have been out offering some some benefits and some lower prices but I've seen about fifty dollars a user um, and this is just kind of like all these pricings are, are estimates here um, depending on how many users you have in your organization now Adobe Connect that's going to be your giant unlimited maximum participants um, having shared desktop uh, great encryption mobile to mobile meetings is one of the great unique features that not a lot of other uh, web-based conferences have it's highly geared towards high education so again great system there 
Vidtel, we talked about a little bit. Um, the pricing here is $25 a minute for an HD call. That's uh, for bridging uh, between codecs, uh, whether it's a Polycom or a Cisco codec. Um, Cisco Jabber here, uh, you give a free 30-day trial. It's actually a free service, uh, and then they do offer professional um, upgrades. Cisco WebEx has 1,000 uh, maximum participants. Screen sharing, application sharing, encryption. Um, it's a really great service. Uh, you got to try it to understand it, but it, it's just as good as GoToMeeting, if not better, with its uh, Cisco supported cloud. And then finally, Microsoft. Great another service and uh, integrates uh, very well with if you're already using Microsoft uh, software to leverage uh, that integration. So overall, um, what I would suggest that you do is try a few of these. Um, if you're interested in Vidtel, uh, Haverford Systems can set you up with a free trial. Um, if you're looking for demos of any of these or um, looking for more information, please just visit www.haverford.com and we can get you started um, with using web-based video conferencing and selecting which service would fit you best. Thanks. Bye.